Hello, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Today we're going to be looking at the Starlink software. It was supposed to be Starlink Sunday, but instead I ran a trail and enjoyed the view at the campground. So we'll call it late Sunday, early Monday. So let's take a peek at the software. I'm no software expert or anything like that, but this is what I picked up from using the Starlink over the past month. So very first off here, we're gonna go into the Starlink software. Then it tells me that I'm online, which is cool. I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down, folks. Statistics. Bam, there is my statistics. So ping success, dang near 100%. Like it's just been going steady. If there's any drops, it will peak down and then it'll come back up whenever it's made contact with the satellites. Uh, below that, uh, last 12 hours, I've been obstructed 11 seconds. My average, or, or I guess median latency is 28 milliseconds. As you can see, this kind of goes up and down, I'm guessing, like depending on, you know, satellite traffic, you know, who knows. Next thing, so I've got my download and upload, or my throughput. And then I've got my power draw. This is a new feature that they added. So that's pretty cool. So I've been averaging, I have no idea. I mean, I know it averages about 26 watts. Um, the graph shows me power changes. Okay, sure. Hey, it's better than nothing. Let's see what happens if I hit the little information icon. Oh, this is the power that my Starlink draws. <laughs> Okay, it would be really nice if they would put a average on there. Anyway, let's use the back button and go back to the main menu. Next up is going to be network. So I've got five devices that are registered. Got my iPad, my work computer, my Apple computer, and both of my phones on there. This is also where you would go to check your Wi-Fi range. So basically you hit the check Wi-Fi range and you go walking around with your device. So it's defaulted to devices, but if I go into nodes here, that's where I can add my mesh node. So if you've got a separate um, Wi-Fi mesh router system and you want to add a node, this is where to do it. I don't. So I'm not going to mess with it. Next up, obstructions. So it takes a while to populate, but the obstruction map will show for, you know, kind of the view of the sky that Starlink has, which, I mean, it matches with reality. You know, I got some trees, a couple mountains, all that good stuff. So seems to be going pretty well. You can also hit the Align, Align Starlink button, or you can have it recheck or check for obstructions using your camera. Next up, I've got Alignment. I check this pretty closely every time I set it up. Uh, as you can see, I've got it slightly out of alignment. I'm going to live with that. But it will tell you that uh, if it needs turning, or if you need to adjust your up and down angle. Next up is the speed test. You hit that, and guess what it does? It runs a speed test. Dun, dun, dun. So we're doing pretty good. 144 and... Ooh. What are we looking at for upload? Come on, baby. Bam, 19, not bad. Then I've got settings. So we got rout router settings. I can actually click on, see what happens if I click on star max here. So that's my router, password, all that good stuff. That's where you would reset your password. 
You can also do content filtering. Right now, I don't need to be controlled. <laughs> I've got, I take care of malware on my computer, so I don't have any of that filtered out. Uh, you can also do malware and adult content. So if you got kids, you can put some uh, controls on that. Next down, you can slide that to reboot your router. I have no idea what custom DNS is. And I'm not going to mess with it. Bypass mode. So if I want to slide this all the way over, it will turn off the Wi-Fi router in my Starlink. And then, but heads up, it requires a separate Starlink or third-party router after that. And the manual factory reset will be required to reverse it. So if I turn this off, it's going to stay off. I will have to actually go and press a button on Starlink to do a factory reset. So I'm not going to mess with it. But those of you hooking up uh, router networks and stuff like that will likely need it. Next up is the factory reset. If you hit this, it'll set it back to factory defaults. So I personally don't do anything with this router screen. But over here on Starlink, I actually do use this. So you can control your snow melt. I've got it off right now, so no matter how cold it gets, it's not going to turn itself on and try and build up extra heat to burn snow off. Um, you can set it to automatically detect snow, or you can set it to preheat. In case you see snow in the future, it'll already be warmed up. Next up, sleep schedule. So you can surf power by putting your Starlink to sleep. It won't provide internet or snow melt while it's sleeping. So you just set your hours there and that'll control when it turns on and off. Here is what I saw when I put my Starlink to sleep as far as power consumption. As you can see, it still has a draw, but it does knock that draw down a little bit. Back to the screen and moving on. Now we're on to support, so you can select which item you need support with. And troubleshooting's got a whole bunch of different troubleshooting options. If you have any requests for support put in, it'll actually save them right up here. As you can see, this was, I asked Starlink what size the pin was on the Starlink unit. And they sent me back something that wasn't very useful. And I forgot about it because, you know what, I'm not going to do all this stuff because I just want to know what darn size your pin is. Um, and my 2.1 2. 2. Uh, adapters seem to be working just fine. So, oh well. Thank you, Starlink, for replying to me. Not so much thank you for resolving my question. But, man. Eh. No big deal. There's probably tons of people sending, sending stuff in. All right. That is the wonderful Starlink menu. So, hope this helped you out. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm not the expert, but if you've got a question, something maybe I wasn't clear on, something I didn't touch on that you have a question about, hey, hit me up. I'll help if I can. If I can't, hopefully somebody else trolling the comments will be able to help you out. Till next time, enjoy the ride.